I'm uh, Jungmin Nam from Asam Medical Centers. Mm -hmm. So the, I'd like to introduce the very distinguished panels, the Dr. Washim Budari, uh, Dr. Kim Ming Tam, Dr. Abdul Kaim Khan, Dr. Mm -hmm. Aron Song Long Wong, and Dr. Jun Jack Cheng. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. So, All right. So how about start the introduction of the case? Mm. So actually, we prepared the two cases. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it right, Dr. Park? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So Dr. <clears throat> Park will, will start the first case. Okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to start my first case. Uh, this is a uh, uh, first uh, uh, recorded case. And uh, during the communication, during the live case session, we will uh, communicate. Okay, uh, I'm going to start my first complex uh, lab main cases, okay? Uh, welcome to 2021 complex <coughs> PCI meeting and uh, I'm very happy to uh, share the, our very complex live case demonstration with you and uh, so uh, today we prepared uh, uh, one of the very the challenging the bifurcation and left main case. So before starting the live case demonstration, I'm gonna introduce our the super team and the uh, first operator, Professor Yun Gang. I'm DW Park from Asam Medical Center, and the second uh, assistant is Chu Hyun Kim, and the SA is uh, mm -hmm. a standby over here. Mm -hmm. So. And uh, we can start this case. Okay, Dr. Kim, can you introduce the uh, patient background? Okay. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to present this exciting case. Uh, so this is a 66-year-old male patient who underwent PCI at left main bifurcation in our center. Uh, he recently developed a FO chest pain and he has a large sized perfusion defect on psyllium scan. He uh, previously underwent uh, PCI at Media LAD in 2008. Next. Uh, he has hypertension and also other coronary risk factors and complained of claudication due to uh, both iliac artery stenosis. Next. Uh, his echocardiography showed normal LV systole function and perfusion scan showed that uh, large sized defects in anterolateral and infralateral wall. So the, uh, his coronary angiogram showed uh, instant resnosis at left main bifurcation. Next. The right coronary angiogram showed intermediate ISR at mid RCA with uh, FFL value of 0.81. Uh, there was a collateral to the distal circumflex. Next. Uh, in this PA caudal view, you can see the uh, total occlusion of uh, proximal circumflex with uh, minimal anti-grade flow. That's a uh, cranial view, and there, there is a ISR in left main stenosis uh, and proximal LAD. Next. Uh, to the further projections, uh, there is a big lump of calcium in the proximal circumflex and wiring seems to be uh, very challenging. Next. Uh, this is uh, one year ago. Uh, we did a, a two stent with a balloon crush. Uh, so the final result was very excellent. So, and this slide is last slide. So if I'm gonna summarize this patient's background briefly, and 66 year old male and relatively uh, you know, intermediate age John. Also, uh, this patient underwent uh, mid LAD stand. So, what 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 kind of stand at 2008? Uh, there was no information no about information yeah, on, yeah. on other hospital. Yeah. Also, when the, the underwent uh, RCA stand? Uh, one year ago. One year ago. Yeah. So, and uh, uh, you know, some last uh, one years ago, mid LAD. Uh, Stan was looks okay, but uh, there was some significant uh, distal bifurcation left two uh, uh, left main bifurcation region is one one one. So at the time we uh, performed the uh, uh, complex uh, distal left main the bifurcation region with the crush technique, and uh, and then is that uh, during the one one the year and this patient's complaint. Uh, uh, chest pain also shows the very the tight, uh, significant uh, instant resistance and the really total occluded the circle region. 
so and the, I think uh, some the moderator and the panel has uh, some discussion about the which strategy would be the next option. This is uh, definitely a uh, complex uh, uh, one of the most challenging lab main publication region is which strategy would be uh, the suitable for this patient. Would be, that is uh, some uh, debatable portion for this patient. So I would I would like to ask uh, SJ and uh, mm -hmm. and and uh, operator is how can we treat this patient? SJ, yeah, you, uh, yeah. the reason the reason of the main you know to stand actually uh, pretty tough you know technically. Uh, must be very difficult. And so, uh, uh, Dr. Gang, would you show, uh, Dr. Chi, would you show us at the, you know, the, uh, the final Ibis? previous, uh, no, no, pre previous angel, two stand after two stand crushing? Uh -uh. Okay, that one. Uh, immediately after, uh, anyway, the proximal part of stand. Okay, second image, please. All right, uh, you know some uh, uh, let the loosen areas of proximal circumflex areas, and so we got some idea. What what uh, what was it? Any, do you have any idea about that? Uh, oh, we we checked the eyes during the first procedure, so we mm -hmm. know the, what is in the circumflex. The heaviness was mainly the calcium, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. yeah, very eccentric calcium. And right. looks like calcium nodule. Let, let me check the IVUS from the previous. Uh, okay, IVUS uh, please. Yeah. All right. So you just mentioned about the calcium. However, anyway, the lumen, you know, effective lumen is yeah, clear. So it's quite a big, you know. And uh, you just mentioned about the calcific uh, plaque, you know, outside of the stand. Yes. Anyway. You know, stand area is quite effectively, yeah. you know, dil dilated. So, uh, current status, uh, I, uh, uh, you know, right, we have a lot of, you know, options to how to do concerns. So, mm -hmm. Dr. Wong, what would you do that about that? Mm -hmm. uh, first, the most important thing is that, mm -hmm. that open the left main, and the second goal is to open the circumflex. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we will have some the discussion time with the moderator and the panel. Is a for uh, this patient uh, one years ago and the distal lamp main bifurcation crush technique is one one one. But suck osteum is uh, nearly total occlusion. And uh, mm -hmm. what would you do? Do Do you have any comment? Is the mm -hmm. The previous uh, suck osteum, there was some calcium, but the effective area would be okay. One year mm -hmm. ago, is sufficiently uh, dilated that this patient underwent the giant, mm -hmm. giant stand. Yes, and the suck osteum is uh, totally occluded. Uh, what would you do? 66 patient year old. So surgical option is uh, not uh, in Asa Medical Center. You usually select that the PCI because this is a BS failure, also left main bifurcation. So surgical consultation, of course, we, we need to discuss with the heart team. Maybe surgeon, if the patient prefer to go for surgery, maybe that is one of the options. But what about the PCI option? Maybe from Singapore, Dr. Wang, Aaron, can you? Can you? Uh, yes. Um, I, I would like to see whether there is any collaterals um, from the uh, RCA, mm -hmm. uh, how far it fills up, um, and then how how long is the um, the CTO um, mm -hmm. of the um, circ stand, and then that will judge whether how easy it is to open up the um, mm -hmm. the circumflex. That I mean, the, the left main LED that is quite easy to fix. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is how to wire the um, the, um, the the circumflex, mm -hmm. and because. Mm -hmm. um, it's a CTO, so in instant mm. risk stenosis, and mm. you have have very good support, um, you know, because there's a curve angle there, so it may have difficulties crossing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you may have to use a double lumen catheter yeah, or right. even the um, mm -hmm. the super cross, uh, mm -hmm. the angle the catheter to to penetrate the uh, yes. the things. Mm -hmm. so I'll treat this as a as a CTO. CTO yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. What about the other moderator's uh, opinion? Yeah, Dr. my Dr. opinion is uh, okay. Dr. Dr. Yeah, mm. DSISR, that's quite complicated mm. and very hard to treat. So mm. I think you need the IBUS guide to the kind mm. of suck mm -hmm. and then we'll check the image. You use a heavy culture, maybe we'll think normal DS, just maybe uh, the bucking or cutting balloon to the 
canalize the circuit with full deleted of the circuit, and then maybe consider a soft coating balloon for mm -hmm. this complicated they mean ISR. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will have some progress, and so and the, this patient we are discuss some bypass surgery option is patient refused to want one yeah. more mm -hmm. one more you know PCI. So mm -hmm. we decided to in the we we will do best to try the mm -hmm. uh, first try the, to the wire wiring the suck Okay, uh, the intravascular ultrasound yes. the suck osteum while widely often. Yes, that's yes. right. Mm -hmm. uh, after a final tissue mm -hmm. yeah. dilation. And in the, I, this is the the, the final mm -hmm. of the previous PCI, and then you can see the the calcium protruding mm -hmm. and. Uh, Limiting the full expansion of the stent okay. at the 11 or 12 o'clock okay. side. Yeah. And then one year ago, this patient, uh, which type of drug loading stent is the Giants? Giants. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, and now we are approach by a femoral artery oh. and a French has the joking caster. Mm -hmm. And then, and we're gonna uh, negotiate the wire and the LED and the socket. This is a try to the insert the wire to the LED, right? Yes. Okay, this is the which wire? This is shown wire, oh, soft wire, wire. Soft wire. Okay, test. Test. Okay. Cranial and check. Okay, guys, check. Cranial. Okay, test. Okay. And then the Yeah. Okay. The, we, I think it's the most audience and panel and discussions uh, uh, wondering about uh, what kind of uh, uh, the guide wire would be the okay for the suck osteum negotiation. Is so which wire do you try to first? But this is just soft wire. Uh, the, soft wire. Yes. BMW. BMW. Mm -hmm. After this, if okay. it doesn't work, I will try with okay. a more stronger wire like Gaia mm -hmm. okay. Our our first the first trial is just the BMW. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not the polymer jacket. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is very the, tough situation in a way, yes. right? Because we cannot yeah. clearly see the opening of a shock complex. Oh, yes, the legion. So we're gonna try that first. Yes. Uh, PM yeah. tower, so yes, PM tower right. first. Great. Fortunately, we have the good mm -hmm. quarter flow mm -hmm. on the circumflex, so okay. the patient thermodynamics is stable. Mm -hmm. Test. My guess Japanese operator probably yes, they would no, do a no, contralateral injection no, because no, yeah, no, really, yeah, like uh, Aaron said, this is uh, like a CTO cases. So, so in the, the from the RCA collateral, not, we not to reach the suck uh, stand area, there is some still sure some, you know, oh. yeah. This is BMW, but initially yeah, looks okay, but to the uh, high down branch. Uh, mm -hmm. Slowly, don't push mm -hmm. out. The it's a slippy G BMW yeah. slippy G uh -huh. several times. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is a uh, double is, uh, blooming caster. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then the try to second wire. Mm -hmm. This is this is what what would be different uh, crusade. Uh, this is Sasuke uh, Sasuke, Sasuke caster. Mm -hmm. This is the newer one mm -hmm. and has the more smaller profile. To mm -hmm. then it can cross the more uh, smaller caliber uh, vessels mm -hmm. and more tortuous regions. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit uh, better in the complex. A mm. CTO or this kind of the procedure. Mm. Can't be the same. Yeah. Yeah. This is a Sasuke caster. Yeah. 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 More thinner tip. Okay, got it. So I think this is the uh, most uh, highlighting yeah. part of a. Uh, uh, you know, as you expected, this is a shortened video. We already spent uh, more than 10 minutes, <laughs> 15 minutes over here. Right, so, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah wiring is take a long time. 
This is still the BMW one. Uh, no, no, no. This is uh, uh, the Kaya, uh, Kaya second. Second, again. So did you make a second curve before we are trying to enter in second wave? Yeah, yeah. So we... What do you think? What is the next option? So I think uh, so you, you, can you use the stand booster would be some mm -mm. to see... Um, Here part we use the stand booster, stand booster. Oh, yeah, but it's not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the next option? So actually no. we, uh, Just wondering why you're using a non-supportive guide. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, be your XP for this. Mm -hmm. this is yeah. Yeah, well. yeah, that, that is a good option. Another wire. Mm. This is yeah. Wire this second. is Kaya second wire. You know, CTO wire is very uh, strong wire. All right. Uh, I think it's uh, you know <coughs> options. Uh, yeah. If uh, any wire doesn't work, uh, actually the a kind of a kind of a pop technique. Uh, high pressure, big balloon. Mm. High pressure inflation on the mm. just on the side. Mm. Uh, mm. The reason would be uh, you know mm. already mm. totally mm. occluded mm. You know, mm. reason. So mm. I want to try that uh, kind of high mm. pressure inflation mm. big balloon at the at the left 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 main. Yeah, part. for the and left main and uh, LED. And also, mm. right, is more proximal mm. part of the mm. main. Mm. You know, should it be dilated, it will be bigger mm. balloon. And then so we're gonna try that again. So right? okay, we, we will have some discussion time and we already spent nearly 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes. We changed the several wire, BMW wire, uh, uh, the choice PT wire, and this is the Kaya second, you know, CTO wire. We although we tried to several times and uh, uh, change of the hand is I tried several times and the Douyun tried to several times, but mm -hmm. it does not pass well. So mm -hmm. SJ recommended uh, some modification of neurointimal hyperplasia mm -hmm. the, using high pressure non compliant balloon mm -hmm. 4.0. Is uh, mm -hmm. how do you think about and the, did that would be work or how do you think about this? I would like to uh, ask a moderator or panel and that you have any experience for that. Okay, welcome. Uh, maybe Dr. Tam or maybe Dr. Khan or maybe Dr. Uh, Watson. Watson. Yeah, um, uh, let, let me go first. I guess it, okay. it could go either way. Mm. Um, it's it's you know it could be favorable. You modify the plot and able to um, find the channel to 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 cross the strut, or you could potentially shift. The new and tomorrow mm. and, and make it more difficult. But I guess mm -hmm. you, you tried for, for quite some time. It's probably mm -hmm. worth mm -hmm. giving it a try. Mm -hmm. Okay, absolutely. This Me? is the auto unknown game. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I, I think this is I think this is different from the native region. This is yes. instantly stenosis. So yes. The, I think the high pressure balloon plug modification, neo intima modification is very safe uh -huh. because the circumflex is already total, occlu total uh -huh. occlusion. So the, the, there may be just some collateral flow from mm -hmm. other vessels. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, all or nothing, but even though the, uh, uh, the, uh, it, it is, uh, I think it, it could be a good trial. Mm -hmm. Okay. For, for so Okay, as you as you expected, we try to uh, some high pressure. Okay. Okay, I'm okay. gonna try to. The but for my point, probably I would try a little bit harder. You know, just a guy a second, maybe step up to maybe guy third or maybe because that the, that you know the stand strut is very clear. So even yeah, sometimes yeah. the CP twelve will be you know uh, uh, the dual lumen microcaster we can try uh, uh, you know to puncture. Yeah. Then step down uh, again to uh, 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 using other software. Yes, you have to make a, the proximal cap that's uh, scratching a little bit. All right, so finally. Yeah, for the okay, CTO, this, it's with the ICE, uh, we usually use the pipe plan engine to see the right pressure in the two room in the center of the yeah, stem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I would like to try to oh, okay, this is a Kaya third, right? Kaya third wire. It's a nearly uh, most strong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kaya third, I try. Mm -hmm. so 
Alright, great. So we try to kayak third. Right. Uh, maybe over there. There's more proximal part. Actually, some operators uh, uh, think that uh, some operators mm -hmm. want to change the guiding contactor oh. to the XB mm -hmm. or EBU. Oh, uh, sorry, oh. sorry. Okay. Uh, welcome to 2021. Oh, the so more the str uh, stronger backup. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. this, this, actually, this is mm -hmm. our center uh, style. It's routine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you know, it's so look, very, very, yeah. very old, old traditional. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, looking at my hand is how much painful my <laughs> finger. <laughs> I spend a lot of time over here, but it's yeah, a, yeah, um, yeah. Um, unfortunately, it's a fail. Mm -hmm. uh, so the we are so try to the, remove the, so, and the next, uh, some check the uh, eyeballs, and yes. then we are yes. uh, decide to the, the high pressure balloon. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a, yeah. This is a four point zero. Mm -hmm. uh, high pressure NC balloon. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are nearly spend the forty minutes at the wiring circle also, okay. but it's a, there was some. Um, what about cutting balloon? Cutting balloon. This is uh, yeah. because you can see yeah. a slippery. Yeah. Yeah, I think a cutting balloon is good option. If uh, mm -hmm. NC balloon failed, we try to next. Uh, Option is cutting balloon would go, yes. And then this is uh, we more advanced over here. NC balloon because usually ISR for the short high pressure balloon, mm -hmm. it would mm -hmm. be the water mm -hmm. mm -hmm. phenomenal, mm -hmm. so just squeezing mm -hmm. in and out. Mm -hmm. So I would choose somewhat longer because uh, 15 mm -hmm. that would be somewhat just fit mm -hmm. for this region. Mm -hmm. We're not mm -hmm. uh, you know just uh, put the region as a center, avoid mm -hmm. that the slippery, okay. Here, it's a further inside. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. Yes. The proximal stand very further inside. Yes, okay. I'm a chance. I'm a couple. Okay, this is a four point zero in play, okay. and then slightly advanced over here. Mm -hmm. Here is an NC balloon 4.0. Yeah. 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 It's high pressure. Mm -hmm. 20, 20, 20, 4.0 okay. NC balloon 20. Yeah. Here is once again. Antonio, probably you go up to 28. 28, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Antonio, you know, Antonio, yeah, this is after, after NC balloon. There is some change of the flow. Yes, yes. Okay, and this is a weird. Okay, this is uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there are first operator is a Chenji SJ and me and Doyun is a we spend a lot of time. It looks like a change the EBU guide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> finally, <laughs> yeah, finally, we change it. We change it. You know, <laughs> guide <laughs> caster over here. Yes. Yes. And, right. then we're gonna check uh, the, and then the high pressure balloon dilation. Mm -hmm. And then we check again. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see there is some, some flow. Yeah, tiny, tiny. Yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. Much better. <coughs> yes. Much better, much better. And, uh, so what, what, what would you do? I will check the eyeballs uh, for the uh, exact direction of the suck ostium. Yeah, over, over the, you know, eyeballs. Uh, we tried to find the, the exact uh, ostium of the suck, yes. but that was not easy. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm. Uh, over here, and we tried to find the direction of the suck ostium, but, yeah, but it's the exact position is not easy. Yeah. Maybe also because the casting. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah, nine o'clock. Yeah. So, oh, 
Yeah, over here, and the, I try to use Kaya third wire, mm -hmm. the CT wire, uh, direct try. Because that is a good direction because the crush, yeah, so you can yeah. see that the outside crush. Yeah, is this is this is CTO Kaya third wire. Okay. Uh, there is some that you know mm. insert. Yeah, good good penetration. Yeah, yeah, good penetration, much better than before. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. Support it with a double yeah, yeah. or same as double. Uh, no, no, this there time. is no double. This is a. The uh, XP guide caster and the, just the, no the double caster, yeah, yeah. Better. yeah, but much better, better. But still, there is some strong resistance. Mm -hmm. Over here, yeah. Over here, still, still, yeah. Okay, good, good. It looks yeah. like instant. Looks like instant. Yeah. Okay, good. Much okay, better. Stable. Yeah, okay. okay, you know, this is a too much, too much short term. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> do, do uh, pass. how long for your wiring? <laughs> yeah, you know, over here is a five minute. Five, five minutes, minute. okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Not too, a, bad, you know, not too bad, Yeah, I yeah, we, uh, okay. yeah <laughs> finally, finally, I'm going to use micro caster mm, peg of support. Mm, mm, and then, okay. uh, Kaya, the third okay. wire. Uh, and then, yeah, one. it's a, yeah, and then finally success. So over here, and the, the distal part is an additional stand. Over here, there is some significant stenosis. Did you check the IBIS before? Yeah, check, yeah, check yeah, before. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're going to check the IBIS before. And then it's a left main part. We did a uh, uh, very high pressure balloon dilation in the circle ostium and added ostium distal and main. And then is uh, we uh, applied the drug coated balloon in the circle ostium and the ostium. Okay, mm -hmm. a, this is a, we already the applied the drug coated balloon, mm -hmm. and then this is the step of the final kissing uh, balloon. Yes, over here, okay. and then remove. We're gonna check it up the final angel. Okay, this is uh, this the is final the view. Okay, spider view and, and uh, uh, the, you know, yeah. area of coral view in the shows that uh, there is a, the, in the yeah, the, the widely the open. The yeah, there is a, uh, our, good, the final result. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, su summarize this case. This case is nearly uh, sit here like a uh, suck ostium, uh, the you know narrow the uh, the part, and so we try to uh, the, our best uh, the the you know the pass the strong wire to the suck ostium, and uh, we try to several different wire and the uh, Sasuke the caster, but it's pale. So finally, SJ is decided to the NC balloon. High pressure balloon is that was some neurointimal uh, modification. And then finally, Kaya saw the wire past the circle ostium. And then finally, we applied the drug coated balloon LED and the circle ostium. And then final kissing balloon dilation. And the, that was uh, our final result. Mm -hmm. So I, I would you like to share the, any uh, additional, the, you know, the strategy or the opinion for this case? I, I guess this is a very high risk for, you know, in the future, se second time risk stenosis because in the second race osteo and also one year, neointima proliferation so much. Also, I think you have to do a very aggressive balloon dilatation. You didn't do a debarking. So in our series, we're showing that uh, second phase osteo, DS failure, this is a two important factors, including, uh, you know, the, the uh, dialysis patient, this is a uh, three key important factors. So mm. I guess this patient still needs, uh, uh, you know, cross observation. Even we bring this patient one year later to see how it's a result. If that's uh, again failure, I think this is a good option to go for surgery. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I agree with the opinion that the Wu. The stenosis for the name is quite high. So maybe we will try a longer you and use strong and agents and the follow up the angel maybe this is one year. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. Any other Great. opinion regarding uh, the debarking strategy? Maybe uh, DCA or maybe you know two millimeter burr rotabrator because uh, as you pointed out, there's some calcium or maybe a shock wave to try to increase that uh, you know cracking that outside the center of calcium. You can increase the center a little bit uh, more for the second phase osteo. Is any other options can uh, other moderator can join? Doctor, but I have one question. Mm -hmm. So, what is the cause of uh, massive uh, the neo intima proliferation? So, so actually, lumen uh, is yeah. very big, but mm -hmm. the major cause of restenosis is uh, the, the neo intima hyperplasia mm -hmm. and yes, a very yeah. hard, very hard neo intima hyperplasia, mm -hmm. not soft. So, the, mm -hmm. what is the cause of such a phenomenon? So, you know, some after balloon dilation, we will after checking up the IVUS, so there is a under, under expansion is not the main cause uh, in the, you know, neointima hyperplasia is a major cause, but I think the exact region underlying mechanism of uh, what would work is the neointima hyperplasia. So initially this patient combined, uh, you know, calcium chunk in the, the you know, sarco osteum that would do some work for, mm -hmm. you know, hyperproductive neointima hyperplasia. So, mm -hmm. you know, although we're going to, uh, check it up the IV, so we didn't find the exact mechanism of name. Uh, the Do Yung Gang, could you comment is, uh, what would you think uh, is a possible mechanism of this patient, circle osteum, neurotimum hyperplasia? Well, I agree yeah. to your opinion about the uh, circumflex osteal calcification and yeah. some mechanical problem could enhance the fast neurotimum hyperplasia. And other metabolic cause uh, would uh, uh, would affect this uh, phenomena, and but we don't know how to prevent this event by medication. We only know that lower the LDL and aspirin and clopidogrel. So uh, we need more uh, study or data for to prevent mm -hmm. this event medically. Mm -hmm. Dr. Tem, any other opinion? Dr. Tem? Yeah, uh, one question. The yeah. second time after KBT, the mm. sick of is clear. But you didn't remove the calcium. So one year before, this hedge is in the sick off. I think that's not due to the calcium. Maybe it's a sobus. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the time? Yeah, I believe the, um, this patient because uh, he had she had the repeated, I mean, the uh, uh, restenosis. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe a, a very good program of cardiac rehabilitation because we always forget, you know, uh, uh, what, what are we going to do after the, the PCI? So I think cardiac rehabilitation for this patient is very important because we have to educate her mm -hmm. about, you know, all these uh, dive, uh, lifetime modification, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I mean, compliance to drugs. So I think this is uh, a very important component in order to, mm -hmm. yeah, not, not to get her back in the lab. <laughs> okay. Dr. Khan, yeah, you were maybe the last opinion. Uh, I think uh, um, uh, L6 osteum is in your case site for uh, the stenosis. Mm -hmm. So uh, strong debulking is necessary. Here the uh, uh, calcium and the new intimal proliferation is the main cause for mm -hmm. the stenosis. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the uh, balloon dilatation, I think, is not uh, only a solution. Uh, we should uh, look for another, another way. Like mm -hmm. uh, uh, debulking or rota yeah, or yeah. short wave therapy may mm -hmm. be an option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we, we should think for uh, uh, those options in this case. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is excellent, so tough. I think mm -hmm. uh, we should uh, th thanks the team yeah. for the excellent mm -hmm. case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would suggest maybe bring this patient back at least you know mm -hmm. one year later yeah. to see how okay. it goes up. Mm -hmm. Okay, one year later we're gonna recheck the. Uh, coronary angel for this patient. Mm -hmm. Also, we prepared the second in very interesting case and the Do Yun. Okay. Hi, this is my uh, second case, uh, which is another severe ISR patient with very complex anatomy. All right. Uh, Let's uh, share thank the you for case. joining us. As we um, have uh, prepared uh, relatively uh, tough cases today. <laughs> So, Dr. Uh, Yong Gang, uh, Zhu Wang, you uh, explain the case okay. here uh, briefly first. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, we have a case here. So, this case is a 64 years old, uh, very functional woman who has complex history of previous PCI. 
Uh, she recently developed uh, upper chest pain and has uh, large sized perfusion defects. Uh, Ten years ago, she underwent uh, left main crossover stenting from outside hospital. So, uh, two years after that, we treated her first ISR with uh, the drug eluting balloon. Uh, she was doing fine until last year, and last year, last year we uh, found the second ISR at uh, which was a CTO at proximal LAD. So we perform the uh, PCI, uh, reverse crush. Okay, next. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she suffered a cardiac tamponade after CTO intervention, so uh, she recovered well. Next. Her transroxic echo showed that uh, no more LV systolic function, and her perfusion scan showed that uh, anterolateral and infralateral uh, ischemia. Her coronary angiogram showed a uh, third ISR at left main bifurcation. Next. Her right coronary angiogram showed a uh, good collateral flow to distal LAD. Next. Um, uh, there was a, a immediate damping of pressure as we engaged the left main, and without a doubt, uh, this is a very severe left main bifurcation disease. And also, the, uh, the ostium of circumplex is very, uh, severely stenosed. Next, uh, in this cranial view, uh, there is also a total occlusion at mid LAD. So it's a very complex situation. And this is a, a third time ISR in this patient. Okay. I'm sure this is for her first picture, right? Would yes. you show the other one? No? This okay. is Kodar view, and this is okay, aerial Kodar view. Very right. tough situation. Okay. Surely this is a very tough situation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. 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 Can you please share your opinion? So, you know, people starting discussion, mm. uh, that is not our routine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some, you know, specialized, prepared case. Mm. That is not our routine. We also very, you know, like a bypass surgery. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yes. Actually, this patient was recommended the bypass surgery at first, but she uh, refused. So we couldn't. Find, we had to find another option, and this, we we also talked to patient that this is the last chance okay. before the so, cabin. Can 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 we start from the Singapore Singapore yes. opinion? This this is extremely complex case. Yeah. <laughs> um, the the distal left main bifurcation and then instant wrist stenosis, and there is a, a LED um, a stenosis as well. Um, so if the patient refused bypass, then we will, like you suggested, probably give it another go. Um, uh, what I would do is I would wire both branches and um, dilate both branches for, first to have some flow and then concentrate on the LED first uh, to open out the LED CTO. Um, and with, I would, um, I can't tell whether there is any ipsy lateral con collateral from the uh, left side. If it's not so clear, then I would... Uh, Get the uh, uh, contralateral in, uh, okay. guide uh, catheter to 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 check for the retrograde. Mm -hmm. So I'll in this case, um, I'm not so sure. This is the third time coming yeah, back. Third time ISR. So I would I would probably stand this one. Maybe you know put another layer <laughs> of stents. Yeah. But since we say that this is the last time, right? <laughs> <laughs> what about the hybrid approach? Hybrid yeah, approach. Yeah, in Singapore, yeah. you would consider maybe left main second phase easier putting a lima, just beating hard, putting the RAT, that would be a somewhat easy and uh, happy for surgeon and the PCI intervention. Yeah, yeah I but totally actually, agree. I, am very... I have three cases with the same situation. Always, I say the last time for the PCI men, but it restates every time. So last chance, just uh, hybrid. <clears throat> 
Yeah, thank you for your Great. opinion. Hybrid would be a very good option for this patient. And and let's I will continue. Um, situation. Uh, in in this time, time. I will treat with the PCI um, and how to treat. Some short time. So, Doctor, what would you do that? Right? <laughs> what would you do? This is a short time. Yes. ISR is, is really reasonable things. It should be on <laughs> time. PCI. <laughs> Surgery, right? Mm. Uh, so what do you think? I think this is really complex case with uh, <laughs> the third time of ISR, but still there is only one stand in the left main to I LAD mm -hmm. of the old DES pico mm -hmm. and only one stand in the circumflex that we mm -hmm. performed the uh, reverse crush last year. Mm -hmm. So I think there is uh, another opportunity to treat the patient mm -hmm. with the PCI if we mm -hmm. perform very well mm -hmm. with the uh, larger sizing and mm -hmm. uh, debulking if needed mm -hmm. and make a larger uh, effective stand area again mm -hmm. and we we'll treat the medical treatment very aggressively. Mm -hmm. and. If we get the patient all right with that uh, another PCI, then she will be very happy. So I will. Uh, I want to try to PCI with the large size balloon and debulking if needed, and then perform another DB or on adding another stand if needed, because this is only left main and very proximal disease. We always have another room for cabbage because we did not touch the distal. So oh, the, yes, what, yes. The, what do you mean? Is the debulking the means is yeah. the ovulation person? Yeah, we'll, I will check the imaging, imaging. Right. interventional imaging. If there is a severe neoastrosclerosis with the calcification mm -hmm. that avoid the lumen gain, mm -hmm. then the debulking procedure. Last time, yeah, uh, do you have. use you know the DB yes. uh, in uh, paclitaxel? Yes, right. That's right. And so, uh, in fact, I actually is I want to do I want to you know <clears throat> have some different drug uh, eluding uh, you know yeah. balloon yeah. Mm, mm, mm. not available yet, right? Yeah, not you available. Know, we, we, we just available yeah. paclitaxel yeah. eluding balloon. Unfortunately, mm. we do not have the right, the right, okay. DCA so, or serolim okay. eluding balloon. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I think, uh, frank, frankly speaking, SJ want to from here is uh, your the recommendation by surgery. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a soft wire. Uh, because uh, you know the neo atherosclerosis for that uh, long time will be expecting very complex neo atherosclerosis. Even you can face some very severe calcium. So debarking would be sometimes very uh, necessary. Yeah, that's uh, so big size rotabrator as uh, Dr. Park has been shown us in the PC complex maybe two years before. Yeah, I agreed. For this case, maybe you are debarking many on the lemon to LED. This is a Larger uh, diameter, non uh, to UAD. It's first priority. Uh, it's a wire, the Sion wire. Yeah, so left Sion, and the and I'm adding the, the BMW wire. This the second wire, BMW mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. frame. It looks like, like uh, Michael Channel is still in that uh, LED ISR. Yeah. Code our view, okay. Okay. We could not find the flow at this LED after wiring. So Sion wire does not uh, spend too too long. You, I see you just wiring just straight forward to path. Uh, right, Dr. Right? Ryan? LED, just one stand or overlap the stand? It's just one stand. One stand, Pico LED. Yes. Yes. 10 years ago, mm -hmm. 11 years ago. It was a long and Pico LED. Right. So close yeah. to yeah. is a resolute, uh, yeah. resolute stand. Yeah. Yes. We already, we already performed the keeping balloon at the main bifurcation uh, one year ago. Uh, so the wire uh, easily has. Uh, let me to the LED Pico L light and the old version of the drug eluding stand, packed toxin, uh, coated stand, and the yeah. uh, costume is uh, a regular stand. Yeah. Because there is no flow yeah, at the wire. We're going to do is, uh, oh, no. uh, the open. open, yeah. open. And how about the NC balloon? Or it depending on you. 
Uh, first, I will uh, open the floor with uh, the com compliant com volume. Compliant, yeah, 2.5. 2.5, yeah. okay. Would you show us the picture first? Yes, okay. Let's check the angel. 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 Yes. Uh, All right. Are ready? Uh -uh. Almost, yes. you know. Yes. Mm. Kimi, Kimi won at totally open the region. Correct, correct, correct. Actually, it's yeah. not... Uh, I'm going to branch. Yeah. Very quite safe. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Chronic, uh, Even without some hemothermic supports yeah. such as IBP or uh, there was good quarter flow from the RCA yeah. to LA. There will be this patient, uh, this patient uh, did the uh, complex without or any okay. the mechanical security yeah. support or impella or IBP. Yeah. Here. The vital was stable. Okay. 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 2.5 yeah. This is 2.5 Actually, this is the protected yes. left domain mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Because This was supported RCA. Yeah. by the protocol flow yes. from RCA. Uh, 20. <clears throat> Dr. Wu, can you introduce your registry data? As far as I know, you have the registry uh, about the uh, uh, left domain instant resenosis patient. Uh, so what is your long-term outcomes? Actually, long -term, because uh, yeah. ISA, uh, left main ISA usually, most commonly, I think it's in the circumflex yeah. osteo. Yeah. So if only a, a focal circumflex osteo, still not too bad because uh, uh, one year uh, later at the May rate around uh, 15% or so. I, 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 I you cannot remember that the data exactly. But we are not, not a big series as, uh, as, an, uh, as a more bigger series. Some diseases were thrombotic, uh, you know, embolized. Yeah. What is it? So, and the, could you show the first one? If he, they could not find right. the data so problem. Well, who was the nitro force? Hedrum yes. or stenosis? Give the nitro. section. Sometimes might might be a competition flow because RC have a very good collateral. So yeah. the, yeah, the two point five balloon dilatation that or maybe have some progressive eye sign or beyond the stand that can be a uh, factors. So for this might be sometimes we use a small balloon, maybe two O. Just uh, dilate a little bit, gently dilate it. That's a beyond the flow. Uh, very weak flow. Uh, uh, at the same point, already I injected the nitro. I check the angel again. Uh, okay, after I nitro, mm -hmm. there's no it change. Still mm -hmm. very weak. I think uh, we, we we can check it up the ibus. Yes, mm -hmm. because we have ibus. I, I decided to check the intravascular imaging mm -hmm. to rule out the. Uh, beyond the, the, of the, beyond the, the no reflow. Mm -hmm. So this is the tight disease uh, or competition mm -hmm. or strong boss. Mm -hmm. And because wiring was very easy and mm -hmm. soft, so I do not so much concern about the di wire dissection or... Okay. Yeah, flushing is always important. Okay, <laughs> flushing, uh, flush. Okay. I see the case is a, a huge plaque that they may maybe cause a distal embolization. Yeah, that's uh, one that's possibility. Yeah, to suction the distal part. Yeah. Yeah. Here is the distal part. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Negative remodeling. Could and it is hard. There was some um, yeah. difficult to oh, ask yeah. pass there. Yeah. Easy to pass? No, not easy to pass. Oh, okay. 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 There okay. was some registers. We can see over here. Yeah. Oh. It looks very, very I difficult. I was going to reference yeah. over mm. So, and the vessel size in 2.5, lumen was uh, totally obstructed over mm. here. Mm. 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 Roll, please. It can be that. Uh, so Here's the other pole, pole. Yeah. and very diffused related the CTO yeah. and I think progression, I think. At the phone club, mm -hmm. and still there is a diffused disease. Mm. The lumen, so the cell is very spastic, the size is less than two. What two? This tar to the 
it was much larger than that at the last time. I applied 2.5 compliant balloon from here uh, and lumen. I think it's still, you know, yeah. some uh, how constricted, you know. Yes. A part of distal vessels is not too proximal part, of, mm -hmm. not too much, you know, plug, however, some, you know, looking, they are to be modeling the just obstructive part, and so mm -hmm. uh, I think that we have to wait uh, mm -hmm. for the nitroglycerin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and how about the applying the small caliber balloon, small compliant balloon 2.0? Okay. Okay. However, yeah. anyways, we have to. Uh -huh. Give uh, nitroglycerin force yeah. again. Adenosine is better. Adenosine is better. Adenosine is better. This is the <laughs> previous stand. Basically, yeah. you know, this part of it is a closed vessel and still not fully dilated. I think so. This is yeah. the proximal LED. And you can see the circumflex came in, and there was some the carina a little bit protruding into the left main. And very diffuse disease, the poor LAD. Prior stand, yeah, prior stand was very expanded, but there is more is the main mechanism for this time I saw. Even the cash by the was yes, seen yes. in the left vein. Mm -hmm. Here is the ostium mm -hmm. of the left vein. The right character. Mm -hmm. okay. So very, yeah, more very aggressive. They want into my hypoplasia, and they want crisis was the main cause of the ISR. And the stem was I think that big. is basic, right? Mm -hmm. Dietary glycerin in infusions uh, after the open, the, you know, occluded yeah. uh, yeah. artery. Uh, we have to see what's mm -hmm. happening in the distal part. You know, chronically, uh, you know, with the absolute vessels. Yeah. We will do the IG angiogram to see who is the collateral to the distal LED or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be a good and idea now also. The but infusion. We, but we could see the distal. Uh, adenosine and beta-pamir and the nitroglycerin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. nitro I think if the iris cannot cross, it means that there's a very tight lesion. So yeah, I, I would put down a small balloon 1.5, just daughter it, and then. So we have to or just dilate it uh, mm -hmm. with some flow. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, I totally garage. agree with your opinion. That's yeah. what I did at Mac. Right. <laughs> Could yeah, you show us the, the long dissection? Mm -hmm. yes. I excluded yes, the possibility of the dissection uh, or and the for, and optimized for nitro and steel. There's very spastic vessel with small mm -hmm. caliber, and mm -hmm. at the distal end, there mm -hmm. it looks that there is some very tight occlusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show the collateral from ICA in the, the slide. Why not? Why not? Why not do that? There was still, <clears throat> there are some. There Initially, are many many panelists didn't even I, need. We considered the bypass surgery, but at this point, time point to the the when this patient transferred to the surgery. Mm. Uh, the lima anastomosis could be possible. But I thought the collateral from the right coronary is a final. Um, the the was a final better than this. I mean, uh, the, the rest of the LID was big right. mm. from the collateral uh, from the right. Uh, Okay. You can see the collateral flow from RCA. <coughs> can you please show in the slide? <sighs> yes. Oh, Joe, would you take a picture again? Oh, we have to focus on the picture. Yeah. I think you may be uh, helpful. So, mm. I think we can apply the 2.0 and yes. the small size balloon and then mm. some right. part. Right. Yeah. After a long time of the consideration, we decided to apply the 2.0 compliant mm. 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 Yeah, mm. soft balloon yeah. to this part. Yeah.
for, for this kind of lesion, usually we use uh, 2 old, for example, 40 millimeter long balloon, just kind of butchination, not apply very large pressure. Then uh, we'll see that uh, final flow. That's a very good idea. There was some resistance. Right. Nominal six. 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 Nominal pressure. There's a steel. Six. Indentation. It's much better now. So small vessel disease, a long duration of the small balloon or the drug coated balloon. Yeah, for this lesion, probably if you want to try PCI, I think PCB would be a good option because a long diffuse yeah, How long do you dilate in this kind of region? Uh, some of the European experience, they do a cutting, but I think mm -hmm. this is long, very long region. I would just prefer just low pressure, low just pressure. giving some way of mm -hmm. lumen, then we try it with DCB. Uh, Not very aggressive, yeah. High pressure yeah. 12, 12 or something. Yeah. And hopefully the lab member patient still patent, and this patient will be able, good chance to have uh, positive remodeling again. Test, carry. 10 seconds, dilation, oh, much and we could yeah. find a bit of a There is some cracker. <laughs> what would you do is the is not easy to decide the, the next step. Do you, with what kind of strength and do I you prefer? We checked the IBUS or and because of the time stand. limitation, oh. it was uh, mm. very good, but at, at the yeah, functional part, yes. uh, we wanted this to cover already, the previous uh, we and with the new yes. There would be chance of a recurrent uh, ISR for mm -hmm. any part. It's yes. already too fail, too yeah. too failure of DB apply yes. with the uh, pectoral coated yeah. balloon. Mm -hmm. There would be also chance of uh, additional mm -hmm. ISR even gonna just treat the DB for yeah. that part. That's right. So, and because the, the balloon is the same, yeah, uh, is we same. already applied very high pressure in the mm. previous procedures uh, uh. by the intravascular imaging guidance. Uh, uh. So, so I think uh, this uh, another good option is Pico and Light, the previous one, 3.5-34. We can choose the 3.5-38 the giants. Yeah. So we can apply the fully covered yes. whole segment uh, yeah. mm -hmm. so with the new some the yeah. drug in Lorem stand. Yeah. I, I think that would be some uh, some reasonable yeah, reasonable approach. approach. Yeah. This, uh, if this patient the first ISR, uh, we would like to prefer the TB. Yes. But this is a uh, three times the ISR, yeah. mm -hmm. so I think uh, some put the additional stand would be good option yes. for such a recurrent ISR patient. Yeah. You see, we already mm -hmm. uh, intervene, intervene is uh, the same modality, DB, DB, but failure. Yeah. Is, uh, mm -hmm. If you want the same modality, there would be some mm -hmm. higher chance of failure. Yeah. At this moment, we decide to another, uh, another the treatment choice. Yeah. And then if you, if you apply the on an additional stand, mm -hmm. the, the proper, proper length, mm -hmm. 38? 38. 38. 38 by 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Uh. Before tenting to the uh, LAD and left main, we must perform mm -hmm. to open the circumflex osteo okay, fully. Mm -hmm. okay. And then uh, perform uh. the high pressure balloon okay. at the left main and LAD mm -hmm. ISR. Mm -hmm. And then we can uh, apply the mm -hmm. stand at the what what my concern is uh, classified the neo intima in the left main. Mm. Mm. So mm. The, uh, it may prevent the uh, sufficient uh, yeah. Yeah. achieving uh, to achieving uh, to achieve the sufficient uh, minimum area. Yeah. 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 It was a bit uh, edited, but I I already applied three point five NC at the circumflex osteum at ten t ATM. Okay. And applied 3.5 mm -hmm. NC mm -hmm. at the left main. Mm -hmm. to it's good. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Fully covered. Yes. Okay. And it was Play? very dilated with the yeah. 3.5 okay. NC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is 3.5 okay. by 38. With a low pressure. What, what kind of a drug eluding stand? Yeah. This is Giant? Oh, it was Giant. Yeah. 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 Giant. Another okay. drug, not Pacritoxan. Okay. Yeah. Not Pacritoxan. Okay. <laughs> so people apply the high pressure, we're gonna remove the suck wire yes. and then we cross. Reverse crush part. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Excellent. Yeah. It's very easy to pass. Very easy to pass. Yeah, because I fully opened. Oh, okay, got it. The, 
positive of the circle complex before. Six and the LED. Okay, that's okay. This is kissing balloon dilation. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is 3.5 at the complex and 4.0 at the left main LED. Mm -hmm. LED high pressure. Mm -hmm. and pressure. Okay, very high pressure. Top, top. And after the kissing. Okay. And hey, it's we, 4.0. Uh, think about the large of the things at the moment. Actually, I had to put the long stand at the mid LED because nice there was no recovery of the flow mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. long dissection at the mm -hmm. 2.0 and mm -hmm. even okay, 2.0 compliant volume. Mm -hmm. So, implanted 2.5 long stand, okay, but mm -hmm. still kept the last result for the breath at the detail. The flow to the diamond yeah, yeah. is mm -hmm. very strong now. Yeah. Yeah. One more zoom, quarter view. Okay, got it. One question for the panelists is um, because the first DEB was done in about nine yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. So would you consider as a failure? I mean, if it lasted for you know ten, eight years mm -hmm. after DEB, I I would say it's pretty done its job. Yeah, mm -hmm. if it occurs within a year, two years, maybe it's a, it's a DEB failure. Yeah, uh, yes. but if it's yes. done about ten yes. years ago, so it's probably it's okay. I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. But, um, Aaron, one question regarding, you know, they, they have a DCB use probably capsule, but what about the lodimus coated the DCB wood? Uh, what option for this patient? Because two times DCB failure is probably capsule. So, second phrase might be a, we use a lodimus coated DCB. Yes, I would actually. It's available in Singapore. Actually, we are the opportunity mm. to have two uh, serolimus mm. coated uh, mm. DB. Mm. So um, I, I would, uh, if the pancreatic acid fail, I would use mm. alternative, alternative another drug. DCB. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Aaron, do you feel any some really clinical uh, difference of a clinical efficacy of a pancreatic acid versus the serolimus eroding balloon? Uh, it is very difficult to tell because these sort of cases are quite rare. Mm. Uh, to come by and we don't have enough volume to tell the mm. difference. Mm. Yeah, mm. Uh, but that update would... DCT TCT meeting. They have uh, some small study regarding ISR treated with both paritaxel and serolimus. It seems like uh, two are quite similar, non inferiority. Mm. So it's, uh, both are mm. equally uh, effective. Some quite superior, better for the paritaxel <laughs> PCB, but this is not a big number, so we still need to wait. Mm. Yes. But one of the good options is because uh, we currently have a magic touch that is uh, serum, mm -hmm. serum is a nanoparticle. So if you let men inflate into the second phase, sometimes if you uh, have a hypotension occur, you can separate 30 mm -hmm. minutes, then, you know, you know, deflate, waiting for another 20, 20 minutes of blood pressure to come in back mm -hmm. and we can in trade again, so still serolimus coated can be a part, but packet mm -hmm. tassel will be gone. So that is, uh, you know, the option, the good option for the uh, serolimus coated. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think this patient highlighted the part that this patient three times drug mm -hmm. coated mm -hmm. balloon mm -hmm. failure. So in the next mm -hmm. step, if you wanna do apply additional four time, first time mm -hmm. uh, DEB, that would be higher rate of uh, mm -hmm. uh, failure. Expect the so mm -hmm. we are a lot of discussion yeah. for that. And agree we with this, your yeah. Practice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, additional drug loading stand. Yeah, yeah, for the current stand, just uh, no large scale study to mm -hmm. differentiate the difference between two coating balloon. Mm -hmm. How about in the future? The scenario for the case, will you try the package DCB and then the Cedarimus DCB add on? <laughs> if two combined will be better? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we need a randomization <laughs> trial. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe SJ was but conducted another trial <laughs> for you know both yeah, mm. paritaxos versus yeah, serolimus got it. Mm. Because ISR yeah. is quite high with this case, especially now the lemon LD is a long stand. <clears throat> Can I just ask the um, final picture of the um, sub looks also look yeah. very hazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether what did the IVUS actually show? Yeah, mm -hmm. you can see the IVUS from the 
Uh, I was from the LAD. It was widely open. I also checked the IVUS to the circumflex mm-hmm. to uh, rule out the possibility of the circumflex mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. narrowing, but it was widely open. Because there was uh, several layers like mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. of the yeah, metal, we so it may be some artifact of the whole yes. yes. but the uh, lumen was widely open. Yes. 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 The IVUS was good. Yeah, yeah. I think you need a further debugging of the all circle. Okay. So that's the uh, okay. first uh, for attention. Is here for the last case. <laughs> okay, uh, Doctor Kang, or maybe yeah, you can just close it because I guess we are our time <laughs> yeah, is there. You. We have a very thank good discussion, very, uh, very yeah, complex. <laughs> I totally agree with you to putting a, 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 a another stand from the eventuality. It's mm-hmm. a good option, uh, better mm-hmm. than the DEB. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. I have a concern about the sarcostium. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, though, uh, though mm-hmm. metal mass is uh, increasing, mm-hmm. if you mm-hmm. give the other mm-hmm. stent, mm-hmm. but yeah. it's a chance to uh, re stenosis again. Mm-hmm. So okay. is there any option uh, for the sarcostium? With yeah. <laughs> FF, I'll be uh, in the row. Uh, in this case, uh, maybe we can check the FF. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good option. Mm-hmm. Or or maybe the next time we just cross uh, over from yeah. to second yeah. phase. Hybrid. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I would like to remind you, and these two cases, not our usual case. Yeah. <laughs> this is a unique very very phase very very case <laughs> for complex yeah. special meeting. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very complex. I guess our time is up, so we yeah. need to close here. And thank you for that, you know, thank very you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, active discussion and very good challenging case. And uh, thank you for the ASI uh, medical team uh, to prepare that uh, two challenging case. Okay, uh, good good to see you and hope to see you in the future. All right. And uh, we have to close thank here. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.